The circus has long been a home for people considered different or unusual, though often exploited and mistreated. Some of these circus freaks shared incredible stories and talents. Join us as we look back on real people with unnatural bodies who were exhibited at circuses and sideshows. Number 1. In 1889, Francesco Lentini, known as the Three-Legged Man, was born with a fully formed third leg, which made him a sensation in the circus world. He astounded audiences with his unique physique, which was the result of an incompletely absorbed twin in utero. Lentini's career in the circus provided him with opportunities and security, despite being treated as a freak. He led a relatively normal life, got married, and had four children, defying doctor's predictions. Number 2. Ella Harper, the Camel Girl, had knees that bent backward due to congenital genu recurvatum. She embraced her unique condition, performed in sideshows, and earned a living. However, she aspired to leave the sideshow and pursue education and independence, which was quite unusual for women in the 19th century. She retired from the stage and lived a quieter life, focusing on personal growth. Number 3. Alice Doherty, known as the Minnesota Woolly Girl, was born with hypertrichosis lanaginosa, which caused excessive hair growth over her face and body. Despite her unique appearance, she charmed audiences with her sunny personality. She left the sideshow circuit to live a more conventional life, got married, and enjoyed gardening and reading. Number 4. Chong and Eng Bunker were the famous Siamese twins born in the early 19th century. They were conjoined at the sternum, making surgical separation impossible. They toured as a sideshow act, gained control of their earnings, retired, and settled on a plantation in North Carolina, where they each married and had children. Number 5. Joseph Merrick, known as the Elephant Man, had a condition believed to be Proteus Syndrome, which caused severe deformities. After a difficult childhood and exploitation in sideshows, he found refuge in a London hospital, where he lived until his death. Number 6. Schlitzi, the Pinhead, was born with microcephaly. Despite his mental disability, he became a popular sideshow attraction and even appeared in a Hollywood film. His story reflects both exploitation and a sense of belonging within the sideshow community. Number 7. Grady Stiles Jr., known as Lobster Boy, had ectrodactyly, which caused claw-like hands and feet. He earned a significant income as a sideshow performer, but was a violent and abusive man. His story ends tragically when he was murdered by his wife and stepson. Number 8. Prince Randian, born in British Guyana in 1871 with Tetra Amelia Syndrome, lacking all four limbs, rose to fame in the United States when P.T. Barnum brought him over in 1889. He performed as an oddity at dime shows, museums, and Coney Island. His act involved crawling like a caterpillar, showcasing remarkable adaptability. He could shave, paint, write, and even roll, and light his own cigarette using his mouth. He was a skilled carpenter, too. Despite his physical challenges, he spoke multiple languages, married, had children, and became a sideshow sensation. Randian passed away in 1934, leaving a lasting legacy in the entertainment world. These stories shed light on the lives of individuals with unique conditions who found fame and hardship in the circus and sideshow world, reflecting both exploitation and resilience.